Hello everyone, this is Vishwa from the interview puzzles. So uh, today I'm going to solve the algorithm question that we put on our page few days back. The question was like this. You are given n minus 1 distinct numbers which range from 1 to n. Okay. And the order in which these number has been given to you is in no proper order. Okay. So you have to find that missing number from 1 to n in the most efficient way. The way in which the minimum time will be taken to find that missing number from 1 to 9, 1 to n. Okay. So let's start solving it. So, uh, so the question is, we have a number from 1 to n, right? And out of this number 1 to n, uh, since these are n numbers, but we are given only n minus 1 numbers, right? So one of the number from 1 to n is missing and we have to find what is that missing number. Now for solving this, there can be several methods. There can be method like you first sort this total uh, numbers and once you have sorted the numbers, you just iterate through each of them and when you will do this, you will find that number. Well, this is a good solution, but it takes long time. Long time in the sense, first of all, you are trying to sort this all these numbers, right? So when you will sort these numbers, the quickest way that you can do, uh, the most easiest way of that is the quick sort. But even that will take n log n complexity, which is more than the linear complexity. So what approach can we take? So here I will try to solve this question in linear complexity, complexity of O n. To know what the complexity means, uh, we have created our other video session. We can go through that complexity thing to understand what the complexity means. Fine. To explain this in a very small O n complexity means that we can find out in the linear amount of time how much, uh, which number is missing from 1 to n. So what our approach is, we will be given n minus 1 numbers, right? Right. So the first step is add all numbers, right? Now adding all these numbers can be done in a constant time, right? Its complexity will be O n, O n, correct? How will you add? You just iterate through each. So adding each number to other will be in the comp in the in the order of constant time right so when we we'll keep on adding it since it has a n minus 1 element so adding all the numbers will have a complexity of how much o n and then you calculate the sum of 1 to n what will be this value its value will be n into n plus 1 upon 2 what we have done we have done first of all we have calculated the sum of all the n minus 1 numbers and the second step what we have done is that since we know 1 and the number, the range between this, this number exists, right? So we'll add the number from 1 to n. That is sum of the first n natural numbers. And this value will be equal to n into n plus 1 upon 2. Now it's simple. The step 3 will be subtract sum 2 minus sum 1. What is sum 2? The sum 2 is the sum of the first n natural number which is n into n plus 1 upon 2. And uh, the sum 1 is the sum of all the number that has been given to you. Now, the difference is the number missing. So this way, it is a very simple solution. Uh, you can find this solution in linear time with the O n complexity. Now, there is one more approach of solving this question in O n complexity. And this approach is based on the JOR. I hope every one of you know what JOR does. I'll explain in small. What the JOR operator does is, if you do a JOR between the same numbers, between the same things, between the same entity, it will return as null or zero. Okay? If we do JOR between the two elements, it will return as a null. So what you can do is, you have been given numbers 1 to n with one number missing, right? One number missing. Now you draw each of these elements that has been given to you with numbers 1 to n. So something like that. 
नंबर वन जॉर नंबर टू जॉर नंबर थ्री डॉट 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 जॉर वन जॉर टू जॉर थ्री जॉर एन नाउ द एंड रिजल्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस विल बी द नंबर इज मिसिंग वॉट इज द लॉजिक फॉर दिस द लॉजिक फॉर दिस इज सिंस what is the logic for this the logic for this is since uh, when doing doing jor of number 1 to n with a number missing with a number 1 to n so all the numbers which has already present right they will jor to become null and only the number which is present only once will be left so this was the solution of this question uh, in our next tutorial we will solve the advanced level of the same question which has already been asked on our page so keep following our page and keep liking our interview puzzles thank you